This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 25 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. Alright, uh, we're going to start by making uh, these hoses right there. So, create a cylinder using auto grid right here. Okay. Segments down and 18 sides is fine. Convert to editable poly uh, bevel and just create a little um, socket. Okay, and select this edge here. Loop. Chamfer it just a bit. Alright, um, let's move it over a bit. Bring it over here. Okay, select both of them. Um, copy them up. Alright, make sure angle snap is on. Rotate them 90 degrees. And sink them right into the top there. Let's create a uh, I think we can do it with a hose, I guess. So create a hose just inside here and then drag it down. Uh, next what you're gonna wanna do is go to bound to object pivots. Pick that as the top object, and pick that as the bottom object, and decrease tension until it looks kind of nice. Alright, that's actually looking pretty good. Um, <coughs> next. You can turn off flex, sec flex sections if you want them, or if you don't want them. Uh, they don't really do all that much. Select this, and effect pivot only. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Sorry, just move that down to about, or move it up to two. And make sure renderable is on. Alright, so copy it, okay, it'll move back over, and pick top object, pick bottom object, and then top object, um, just move it in I guess, that's an easy way of fixing it. So now we have two little hose things right there. And for a little extra detail, we can create a box around here. Okay. And actually increase the height a bit more. And center it up. Okay, create a uh, cylinder here. About radius of 0.4, roughly, height of about 0.13. Bring the sides down to 6, convert to an editable poly, and um, select the edges there and chamfer. Make the chamfer about 0.04. And just drag it over and drag it back. All right, and we can add another little detail here. So, create a box in the middle, convert to an editable poly, select both those edges, uh, connect, 
connected six times. Select the inside ones, not selecting the outside. Bevel by polygon. Decrease the height and the outline amount to about negative 0.11. And you get something like that. All right, um, select that edge and that edge. And just chamfer it about. 0.17. Okay. Next, we're going to want to um, let's see. We'll work on this little back section, I guess. So, unhide the um, back plane. All right. Um, then just go to the back, I think, or the front, I guess it's the front, and let's just create a shape that looks like that. So, you're going to want to go to, um, box. And just create a box like so. And let's see. Make it 10.5 by 10.5. Um, convert to edit to the poly. Select all the polygons and then deselect the middle ones. Go into a four view and zoom out. Bevel by polygon. Actually, no, no, extrude by polygon. And extrude it to about there. Then we're going to want to um, deselect all those edges. Connect. Times. Does that work? No. And then we're gonna have to individually move all the verts. So select these. Actually, we can do it two at a time. So scale these approximately to there. Bring these ones out about the same distance. All right. Next, select the center one and bring it out just a bit more. Oops. Um, bring it out just a bit more. And the sides. Okay. Select the edges. You should have all those selected. And just give them an overall chamfer so that it's centered up. Alright. That's a, that's a pretty good shape. So. Let's move it in. So bring it back. Go into the left hand view here. That's about there, so that's good. And go into the top view and just center it up. You can use these two edges here for alignment. Okay. And let's move it up a bit as well. Select the back polygon for the bottom one only. And just extrude it back just until it reaches there. All right. Um, next, let's select this edge and loop and it's not going to work. So select all those, deselect those, deselect those things, chamfer and give it chamfer 0.55 with two segments. That'll be it for part 25. I'll see you in part 26.